Governor Ralph Northam now encourages everyone to wear face masks when out in public as a way of reducing the spread of the coronavirus. Healthcare workers have already been wearing them for hours straight, so if you've worn one, you may notice some discomfort from the tension it puts on your ears. Ten on your size, Asia Tolliver shows us how a teen Boy Scout decided to help out. The Chesapeake teen says he started off making little things with his 3D printer and then he started making little statues. And when he saw what a fellow Boy Scout was doing up in Canada, he got inspired. Many people across Hampton Roads have been making masks and sending them to those in need. But one 15 year old Nathan Babcock took things a step further for those who wear them for long periods of time. Just from that resting on the ears um, over time, it just get, you know starts to wear on him and you know, it causes people to constantly reach up and touch their ears, touch their face to try to manipulate the mask. Babcock is a member of the robotics team at Hickory High School. One of his favorite parts of being on the team, making things with a 3D printer. So much so, he got his own. He's been making cool items from the plastic spools ever since, and recently has been making tension relievers for masks. When I saw another Boy Scout in Canada making th these 3D printed parts, I thought that was probably a pretty good idea since they need help and I do have experience of wearing safety glasses all day and that really hurts your ears. This morning he donated 50 of them to frontliners at Chesapeake Regional Medical Center. He says each one takes about 30 minutes to make. It's really great knowing that I can help out in a small way from just staying at home in quarantine. The connector attaches to the mask straps taking the tightness from behind the wearer's ears. Nurse manager of Step Down and Nursing Support Teams Valerie Jordan says her team is going to be ecstatic. I do. I think they'll be like, okay, this is great because you see nurses with the indentations on their face from the mask and just, you know, prolonged wear. It, it's, it's, it gets bothersome. So, Maybe yes. a few less headaches. Yes, a few less he headaches, a lot more happy faces. Well, guys, he says he plans on making many more in the future. He also says that he has friends on his robotics team that can help with that. In Chesapeake, I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.